Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm doing a simple request video. Um, somebody asked me, how do I make your mixes into acrylic? So I'm sure most of you probably know how to do this, um, but it, I, you know, I, there's some of you out there who are new, never done this before. So I'm gonna do a quick, simple video on how to take my mixes. And Camille P, if you're watching, this is the mix I was talking about that I know you love teal and I love teal and oh my God, this is my favorite mix. If somebody had asked me out of all my mixes, what's my favorite? Ariel. <laughs> so I'm using Ariel to do this demonstration because I'm going to use this on my nails. So <laughs> anyway, um... This is, um, again, back to what I'm talking about. Um, this is one of my mixes. It's called Ariel. Um, it's a mermaid mix. It's uh, I use like some flocking powder in here and some holographic. There's a lot of greens and teals and blues and silvers and it looks like some golds and all kinds of just beautiful stuff in here. Um, <clears throat> somebody also asked too, in which I've already done the video, if my mixes can be used in nail polish. And yeah, absolutely. Um, they're solvent resistant. So um, although I've never tried a flocking powder mix in nail polish. So maybe that'll be another video we'll try. We'll see if it fails. We'll see if it works. I don't know. <laughs> so and if any of you have tried a flocking powder in a nail polish, let me know. I'm curious how it worked out for you. So anyway, I'm going to get to the video. So this is how I'm going to do it. Um, I'm just going to take just a container here because I'm going to use this on my nails here. So, you know, everybody's a little different with how they like the consistencies. Um, my mixes uh, are typically a heaping teaspoon. Um, this one's a little bit of a heavier mix, so it's settled nicely in the bag. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get an idea here of what I have. I'm going to take this is a half a teaspoon measuring spoon here and I'm just going to see how much I really have in here and we will so that's a teaspoon's worth and a teaspoon and almost a half so this particular mix had almost a teaspoon and a half of mix in there um, like I said, you know, I finally got around to fixing my listing because I think I had them as a half teaspoon size and I knew I had more than that in there. So what I do is I just dump this in here like that. I'm going to clean off my spoon because I don't want to get glitter and contaminate my acrylic powder. Um, so some people like to do half ratio. So if that was a teaspoon and a half, then they put a teaspoon and a half of acrylic in there. And I always use clear acrylic because um, then this way you can see what's in there. So I'm going to start with a teaspoon and a half because that's the amount. That's the half to half ratio. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I mean, everybody is different with how much you can always and this is the thing you can always add more acrylic if you don't like the way it lays you can't take it away so um this actually looks like a good you know half 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 so this was teaspoon and a half mix half teaspoon and a half acrylic i'm going to actually add just a tiny bit more just because there are bigger spangles in this mix and i just want to make sure that I don't end up with a problem. So I'm just going to mix that up really good. Again, this is my Ariel mix. This mix is for sale in my store, by the way. Um, I've been just dying to try this one out on myself. So you can see it in there now. And you can see that one bag of mix actually makes quite a bit of acrylic. Um, you could actually do a full set of nails if you did even like the full nail from cuticle to tip with one bag. I know I've had people ask me, well, how many bags do I need to do a full set? Um, I guess one bag, unless you've got nails that are like that long. I don't know. 
<laughs> so, um, anyways, I'm going to just take a quick uh, practice nail here and test this mix out. Um, again, I'm using my favorite brush. I love this brush. My Grumbusher. Love it. Um, before I get started, let me put some paper towel down here because I do not want to get monomer on everything. So, um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to get all the air bubbles out of my brush. Um, alrighty. Now you're going to want to, you know, this is a practice nail. I'm just going to do the underside so you can see it here. Um, I'm not going to sit here and shape it and all that. I'm just going to test it out because I'm curious how this one looks because I've been dying to try it. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I'm not going to use too much of this because I want this for myself. <laughs> Love this one. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to use this one on me. This one turned out pretty. Put a little bit more in there. This is a smaller brush, so I'm not used to it. I usually use a, a 14, and this is a 10, so I, I'm not able to grab as much as I would like. So um, just bear with me while I'm doing this, and we will see how it turned out. my brush there. I don't want all that junk in there. So, alrighty. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see that. That really turned out beautiful. Ooh, that is so pretty. So, I hope that answered your question on how you mix the, the glitter mixes into acrylic. So, you know, I just did, you know, it was a teaspoon and a half of glitter mix and a teaspoon and a half of acrylic with about a pinch more acrylic powder. So there's my mix, Ariel, on a practice nail. So that's so pretty. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message, comment below, like, subscribe, whatever. Um, <laughs> if you have any um, videos that you'd like me to do. If you have any questions on, you know, how to do something, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help. So anyway, um, I'm going to move on to my next um, request video. So stay tuned. So thank you, everybody. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.